I'm Jeff Wilson, Chief of Police with the uh, City of Orofino in Orofino, Idaho. Um, very rural area. There's about 9,500 people in our county and about 3,500 in the city that I police. Um, when we originally started out, we had uh, desktop computers in the office, and that was virtually it. They were not networked. Uh, we didn't have anything in the in the cars as far as information sharing, communication, uh, other than the police radios. Um, we identified early on um, that was a problem. We thought we could advance ourselves much farther as far as information sharing and communication. We wanted to do things like uh, get a department website, um, secure email around the office. We wanted to have full connectivity in our cars for those things. Um, we wanted to be able to do NCI lookups uh, or NCIC lookups right from the car. Um, we wanted to be able to access a records management system right from the car so that we could keep our officers out in the car full access to all the information that should be available to them and then also as a result of that be able to generate data and information that we could share that the officers would have that information but also the public could share that with our citizens uh, and, and really make us more accountable to our citizens and, and that was our goal when we started the project. What we did in response to that was we began to research different vendors and ways to accomplish that of what technology would help us uh, what we could, were capable of maintaining within our department and within our budget. Um, we took available resources and funding that we had. We uh, identified um, the capabilities we really wanted and the vendors that we wanted. We began implementing those things almost in phases where, uh, for instance, we implemented the records management system. Once that was stabilized and we had a good backbone, uh, both in the office and in the cars, then we moved on to uh, in-car video. All patrol cars were equipped with in-car video. That phase completed, we moved on to NCIC, for instance, and we really did it phase by phase so that we weren't overwhelmed uh, with such a big project. And uh, it's taken about 18 months as far as implementation of those things. We're still working out a few bugs, but all in all, it's been very successful. Um, we have those things up and running. They are active. We're very satisfied with the progress that we've made and, and very happy with the response from our community and our city council uh, as far as um, feeling like we've made ourselves accountable for things uh, and very transparent where they can see what we're doing and, and where we're headed. Well, I think the first thing is definitely define what you're looking for and be specific. You can't just say we need records management. Uh, you need to know specifically what features you're looking for, what capabilities you desire, and, and go after it that way and clearly define those things. That was something we struggled with early on. We were too vague. We really needed to narrow our scope and truly identify what we needed. And that's certainly a lesson learned that I would love to share with people and hopefully save them some of our headaches. Um, the other thing is simply in attitude of even though you're a small agency or budgets are tight or you have limitations, we all do, uh, but don't let that discourage you. Um, my quote uh, in my presentation is, you know, dream the impossible so you can accomplish the improbable. And that's something I'd encourage everybody. Truly believe there is funding out there. You do have to work at it. You've got to be willing to work at it. But truly believe you can accomplish all these things regardless of the hurdles. I think the key thing is it brings a lot of us together um, that are definitely improving technology-wise and seeking better things. And really the people that are in this room are the real go-getters and the people that are trying to make that move. And oftentimes in their area, they are the lead agencies trying to do this. And so with them being out in front of most everybody else, either in their region or their state, they don't have a lot to draw on locally or nearby in their region. They're, they're really paving the way for other people. By bringing us all together, you see these people that have experienced this are going through it. They have great solutions to a lot of the problems so that uh, all of us don't have to encounter the same problems and, and try to seek different solutions. Lots of times the solution is good for many of us, and so that's, that's the greatest benefit right there. This is a great event. I hope you guys can continue it, and I would also encourage you guys to try to identify those departments that have major projects on the horizon uh, rather than already uh, you know, into them or completed them so that they can come here first and maybe save themselves some headache and some money. And I think that would have been great for me and great for some of these other guys.